I actually remember where I was when I heard this, in the Philippines at the school bus stop on my way to junior high. My eighth grade science teacher cried when we got to school and told her that on this day in history, January 28th, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. All seven astronauts were killed when the shuttle broke up, the first in-flight astronauts' deaths in NASA's history. What made it all the more shocking was many of the schools across the United States had tuned in to watch it live on TV. See, as public interest in the shuttle program waned, NASA started a program to include civilians on the flight crews. The first, Krista McAuliffe, was the first teacher in space. Sadly, after the disaster, NASA canceled its civilians in space program, and the entire shuttle fleet was grounded for 32 months while new safety measures were implemented. NASA was never really the same since. But finally, we have gotten back in the saddle. Last school year's Artemis 1 was the first step in going back to the moon after five decades. Artemis 2, coming September 2025.